I don't know what kind of level this is. Oh, it's this kind of level. Oh, this is great. What have I got? Who? Uh, spectators. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is like 3D platforming before. 3D really was a thing, wasn't it? Sort of. Like, properly. I don't think 3D, full 3D platforming has ever been, like, a good thing. No, no, not at all. Like, the new Sonic games. Or was that just Sonic 3D? I can't remember. Sonic 3D! <laughs> no, 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 no. Sonic 3D was 3D. Sonic 3D was 3D, but not in the, like, full on exploration kind of way. No, I didn't mind Sonic 3D. Final boss could go eat as many dicks as possible, but. From what I saw, cool. it was a glitchtopia. Really? From what I saw. I remember that. I, I played through it. Unless it's unless it's one of the new, really new ones I'm thinking of. I I, I don't know. I never really played Sonic. Sonic games. Adventure were the newer ones that are. Really uh, bad. Sonic 3D. Probably one of them. Was a Mega Drive game. That's... Oh no, not that. Yeah. One of the very new ones. Yeah, if you look Sonic 3D, it's, it's about as basic as one you can get. There's fixed camera in a Sonic game was weird, but it wasn't terrible. Fixed camera in a 3D environment? Yeah. That's weird. I don't, I don't know, if anyone's interested, I might splice in some footage of it, like, <clears throat> here. But it... <laughs> My feed actually hesitated for a second when you said that. <laughs> It's a it's a snake. It kind of has the body of a snake, but a head of uh, one of those ink spitting dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Oh god, the bats are flying right at you. This level tick. This game's just taken another step up on the difficulty curve, isn't it? Yes. Just because wait, jumping from platform to platform is fine, but you don't even see your shadow until you're almost on right on top of it. So you don't know if you're actually there properly. Which I imagine the shadow is what you're basing your position on. Yeah. If anyone's wondering why my commentary is suddenly turned down, it's just because I'm really actually concentrating now. <laughs> Shit's gotten real in Magpie Land. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, they go down at a certain point. Random points, I might add. How did you know it was that way? I, I, I assumed you were still going right. Process of elimination, really. I couldn't see another platform off to the right. I couldn't see one this way either. <laughs> Whee! I, did, I thought you were going to run straight off then. I almost did. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could, I think it was because it was a platform from the tech no, no, thing. No, 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 I, I think it's quite possible to completely just derp yourself into non existence at that point. I suppose that would be in keeping with the. Oh my god, this is your hell. Yep. <laughs> there is so much focus going on now. But you did it! Yeah, I'm profiting from lives in this level so far. 40 lives. Damn, oh! damn it! Oh! I knew I shouldn't have said anything. I just knew I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, I'm going backwards now, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Yes. Spider! God, I'm so pissed off. My bet was really close to the end of the level as well. <laughs> what, you were trying to get a gem ah! this one? Yeah. Well, I hadn't died, have I? Does that come back up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's not just like a weak platform, that is an actual trap. Yeah. In theory. Now this sort of thing... Well, it's not realistic, but if it was in a film, it would be awesome. Like an Indiana Jones thing, this style room. I would I would happily go, you know what, it's in a temple where people obviously hidden things from a dead pharaoh or something like that. So traps will be necessary. But I should really stop having a go at the realism oh, sense God, of the sense really and as a cartoon bandicoot. You were about one screen away, I think. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> every level is getting harder for me to get a gem. I'm getting harder every level too. Oh god, I remember this one. This is as far as we got before. Oh, not the grid! The ones where... 
you don't know that you need the turtles until you actually get beyond them. So if you kill the turtle, you can't possibly go past the bridge, is that right? Yep. And the one with the falling platforms, and the one with the icy platforms, and the... Just I remember, though, so much. if... Oh, uh, yeah, if, you, if you've got those red ones, the ones that aren't broken, if there's only one of them in the middle of two healthy ones, you can just run straight across them, and yes. they, won't kill, they won't kill you. Yes. I think I can't kill the warthogs. I just have to jump over them. Oh, the frozen ones. Oh, that's a, that's a bitch. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit... I'm not sure how to take that. It's they are being cheap. very generous with the lives. I'll give them credit there. Yeah. It's cheap the first time when you kill something and then realise you needed it to get across. But then, I suppose if you know, yeah, then it's fine. Yeah, you'll be keeping an eye out for it before. But you're always going to die the first time you come here. Always. Not necessarily, I didn't. Which is freaking miraculous when you think about it. Not to mention they're generous with the checkpoints. How did you manage that? Did you just luck into jumping on it and jumping across? <laughs> I just saw that it was a really big gap. Oh. Damn it. I think I just saw it was a really big gap coming up and I needed the boosty. Boosty boost. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> See, like I said, it's being very generous with the lives and the checkpoints, so I'm not gonna. As long as you can negative. always get back to there, you're never gonna become negative on your lives. Oh no. Uh, oh. Lives don't respawn a lot of the time. Let's oh, see, no lives. Oh, I swear I did the one. It might do. It's not always that case. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. It probably thinks you're going to die more than once getting back to it. Evidently. Possibly! Uh, oh. oh. Why would you spin? I suppose it's a fast creature it hits you, you spin, but you seem to spin every time something hits you. You do, but unless it blows you up, or sets you on fire, or drowns you, or eats you, or... I remember that That's... was one of the things I found most fascinating about the Crash games, particularly Crash 2 onwards. It's just, it's really fun seeing how many ways you can die. Yeah, that always impresses me, actually, with old games. It's like, um... I had, there was one spot. I... There was one point that I would die then, and I hit it. Anyway, sorry. Have you seen Battle Chess? Battle Chess? I've seen yeah, Game Gamecocks old... playing it. Oh yeah, that was on the Amiga as well. Um, but yeah, so like, every combination of one piece taking another has a different kill animation. That's pretty cool! Ah! Woo! I think I made it. Oh cool! That's it, each has one. Like there's only one queen take queen animation and stuff like that, but yeah. That's pretty sweet. Oh shit. What's going on? Okay, that's where I want to go. There we go. Boing. I did wonder how you're getting past that. Ah. If you do your spin attack right next to TNT, it's just insta death. Motorboat. That doesn't like time down if you spin next to it, that just kills you, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh yeah, if you hit it, like, strike it with a spin, then it just insta blows up. Oh. Uh, let me go. I'm gonna update my save. Probably a good idea. Continue. Mm. I can't be too far from the end of the level. I've hit like 20 checkpoints. We're on the road to nowhere. You know the one. <laughs> oh. I actually hesitated. I, I thought I was gonna miss it. <laughs> Jump! Oh wait, no! I thought I went for it to flip over. It's just a normal oh, yeah. enemy when you hit it. There we, there we go. Now I get the high jump. It turns into like a trampoline. Yeah. That's the part I think I meant. What? How did you manage to flip that one? I didn't. Know. I think they might have placed those the wrong way round. In that they should have had the pre-flipped one first. So when you saw the second one, you thought, ah, I'm yes. probably going to need this to jump over a gap. Yeah. You should always be able to figure something out. You shouldn't have to die to be able to learn how to do something correctly. Well, if they give you plenty of lives and checkpoints like they did in that level, then fair enough. I'll let them get away with it that time. 
Well, I'd like put, put a box with a life in it just for a really tricky part that yeah. you haven't done before. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, this is boulder level. Yeah. I missed what the level was called. Boulder dash, this one is. Ah! I remember I had... Oh, no, we got a little further to, room, to nowhere last time, because I remember I died in the ass ton on this one. Like, I don't remember why, but that. yes. I think you did. I, it, the boulder kept getting me. I oh yeah, so like you had to do it perfectly. If you yeah. got stuck on anything for a split second, or if I, I or if I actually, I remember you much. dying a lot in the tunnels. Like, yeah, it's you'd stop, if you and then it would still hit you. If you serpentine, you're not traveling as fast as if you're running straight. So if you wiggle too much back and forth, the boulder is gaining on you. So you're more likely to die if you're after the gem. Yes. These levels, I meant. This is probably the hardest situation to get a gem. I don't know. I remember last time that it was on the boulders level that I got the gem. Everything else I did. At least you don't have to get every apple as well. That would suck. Although they're not apples technically, are they? Oh, I want the fruits. We went over this last time. Are those real things? No. Mm. I think. If I, whenever I try and taste new fruits, I just try and taste them in a milkshake. <laughs> it just seems safer. But then you're tasting it with milk, and it doesn't taste anything like a fruit. A banana milkshake tastes nothing like that. That depends. That actually depends. Some of them are made with obviously the real stuff, and others, like, they're just completely processed. Ah, oh, shit. I ran into a pot. I'm probably gonna die. You might be alright. It might give you some wiggle room. I'm not wiggling at all. <laughs> I don't want wiggle room. Wiggle room is fatal. You seem to be doing alright. so freaking oh! close to me. Yeah. That's, That's the frustrating bit, is if you hit a pole right at the beginning, you might as well just give up. So it's probably travelling like 0 0.01 mile an hour faster than you. <laughs> so yeah, it punishes you for a mistake about a minute later. Yeah. That's kind of sucky. Bouncy. Ah! Oh, oh! Wow, oh, that might be your You're fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Dead. Yeah, this is... Well, no, if you do manage to make it, I uh, will be quite impressed. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the boulder was not strong enough to go through the cameraman, though. Pablo. Yeah, Pablo. Oh. Isn't it? What was this? I swear we found that Pablo, Pablo Ross. Because the guy in the second floor is called Ross. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we actually looked him up with the credits, didn't we? Yeah. His name uh, for anyone who hasn't Ross. seen them, the rec films, the guy <laughs> behind the camcorder in both. Rack 1 and 2 is called Pablo Rosso, and the cameraman in the first one is referred to as Pablo, and the cameraman in the second one is called Rosso. So he's appeared in two separate horror movies as the same character, somehow. <laughs> You'll have to watch the films when it makes I think, no, sense. they're actually con they're considered different characters, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are completely different characters. It's just, the, the actor happens to have two first names. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Ricky Bobby. because the second one's in a military setting, they're probably referring to him by his second name as Rosser. Oh, true. Anyway, that's I was probably trying the end not of the to say that. Part. I'm actually going to have to bleep that one out now. Why? Because we're recommending people to go see the Rick films, and then you're telling them that stuff oh. has happened. I gotta say, I have more feelings for than I did anyone else in that film. <laughs> I really I swear, cared about I think he was actually quite smart. And the bit when they're, um... Yeah, and when um, they look into that... Um... Rec, rec falls in production. Anyway, we've definitely gone over our time now, so let's stop talking about Rick. And we'll see you next time. Tschüss!